Pig's Christmas present. It is the night before Christmas at Peppa's house. Peppa and George are asleep. Mummy and Daddy are asleep. Granny and Grandpa are here too, and they're asleep. Who is that? Ho, ho, ho! It is Father Christmas. My last delivery! Oh, why do they have to make chimneys so small? Father Christmas is putting presents around the Christmas tree. It is very early in the morning. Come on, George! I suppose it's just about daytime. Pepper and George are excited it's Christmas. <gasps> Everybody is excited it's Christmas. Look! Father Christmas has brought presents! <laughs> George has a toy boat. Boat, boat! Pepper has a rocket. Zoom, zoom! It says Grandpa Pig. Open it, Grandpa. Ho, 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 ho. Ooh, that's just what I wanted. It's a drone. I don't really like the word drone. I prefer to call it a quadcopter. What does it do, Grandpa? Watch this. The drone can fly. Ooh. Ooh. And I can see what it is seeing on the controller. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. Wow! It's like a busy bumblebee! Buzz, buzz! <laughs> and how long does the battery last? I don't know. But when the battery runs low, it flies home all by itself. That's clever. At the moment, it thinks home is the North Pole. Because that's where Father Christmas lives. Exactly. Perhaps you should change the home setting before you play with it, Grandpa. Oh, there's plenty of time for that, Granny Pig. Here is Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? It means the battery is running low. Here it comes! Yes, all the way home. Hooray! And home is <coughs> the North Pole. Ah, yes. Perhaps I should have changed that. The drone is flying all the way to the North Pole. Oh, what are you doing back here? Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Don't be sad about losing your present, Grandpa. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Ho, ho, ho! Father Christmas! At our front door! Yes, I decided not to use the chimney this time. I had this large present to deliver again. My quadcopter! Grandpa Pig loves his drone. Everyone loves drones. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! Families! Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play 
play guitar. We rock. That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Higher, mummy! Higher! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. <laughs> yes, everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Go, oh, all right then. <laughs> Super. And Danny Dog? My Daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now Daddy has come home to me and Mummy and he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my Mummy and my other Mummy. One Mummy is a doctor and one Mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <coughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <coughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa loves families. Everyone loves families. Motorbiking. It is a lovely sunny day in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig with his raspberry patch. A little bird has come to look at Grandpa Pig's raspberries. Ah! Shoo, shoo! Cheeky birds. Eat my raspberries, would you? The little birds like your raspberries, Grandpa. So do I. It's a good job I'm here to make sure they don't eat them all. Grandpa Pig, I've just had a wonderful idea. Let's go camping. Camping? Camping! <laughs> we could camp in the garden. No. Let's drive somewhere, find a nice spot and pitch a tent. But our car is at Grandad Dog's garage, being fixed. Oh, yes. What about the old motorbike? Motorbike? Yes. 
Grandpa and I have had many adventures on our motorbike when we were younger. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. That was fun. But it was a long time ago, Granny Pig. All the more reason for us to get the old motorbike out again. <laughs> Here it is. Motorbike! What's this funny thing on the side? It's called a sidecar, Pepper. You and George can sit in it. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. You must wear a safety helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Pig. Which way should we go? That way. The seaside. Hooray! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, this is the life! <laughs> <laughs> Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 brum. Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 all day long. <laughs> <laughs> this is Grandad Dog's garage. Hello! Fill her up, please, Grandad Dog. Granny Pig, I didn't know you had a motorcycle. Yes. We're using it while you fix our car. Well, the car is fixed. You can take it now. Oh. oh. If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye. 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 Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at the seaside. Let's camp here. But, Granny, we've forgotten the tent. No, we haven't, Pepper. This is a very special camping motorbike. Watch this. Wow. wow. The motorbike has turned into a tent. It's a magic tent. Yes, Pepper. We've got everything we need to sleep by the sea. Hooray! I hope you're not missing your raspberries too much, Grandpa Pig. Not at all, because I made a few adjustments to the motorbike this morning and brought my garden too. Wow! Your raspberry patch! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves camping, especially when he can bring his garden with him. Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> Trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> I am bouncing higher than the star. Me too. And me. <laughs> bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. I think I'll 
have a go. Hey! <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups <laughs> are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. <laughs> Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounced on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Heaps! Peppa and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! Very good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> now lie your hoops on the ground. Add the jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 j
It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go a uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. And you roll them like this. Good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Pepper. Ready, steady, go! Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin the hoop. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! <laughs> you clever piggies! Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> Jelly! Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Sorry, Pepper. I've got a lot of important work to do today. Oh. You two can help me in the kitchen. OK. There's a cupboard in here that needs a jolly good tidy. Ooh. Could you pass me a pan, please? Here's a pan, Daddy. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Thank you, George. What is this funny thing? That is a special bowl for making jelly. Ooh, I like jelly. Can we make some jelly? Good idea, Peppa. Maybe it can be a surprise for Mummy Pig. Yes! First, we need to go to the shops and get everything we need to make jelly. <laughs> Goodbye, Mummy Pig. We're just popping out. OK, see you later. Daddy, Pepper, and George have come to the supermarket. Daddy, what things do we need to make jelly? Well, we don't need flour or eggs or milk or butter. To make jelly, we just need, uh, jelly. It doesn't look very wibbly or wobbly. We add water to make it wibbly wobbly. Oh. What flavour do you want? Cheese. <laughs> George <laughs> likes cheese. I don't think they have cheese jelly, George. Oh. There is strawberry, orange or lemon flavour. I like strawberry. Remember, the jelly is for Mummy Pig. What do you think she would like? Uh, strawberry. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can you guess what we're making? Let me see. Are you making jelly? Yes! I love jelly, all wibbly-wobbly and delicious. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> We're back home, Mummy Pig. Very good. Right, let's make jelly. <laughs> First, we open the packet and take out the jelly cubes. Ooh, they are a bit wibbly-wobbly. We break the jelly cubes into a bowl and add some hot water. A grown-up must do this bit. 
and stir. The wort has gone strawberry colour. Yes, the jelly cubes have melted. Now we can pour it into the jelly mould. The fridge will make it go cold and wobbly. How long will it take? Not long. Let's set the timer. When the timer goes ping, the jelly will be ready. It's taking a long time. While we wait, let's make Mummy a card to go with the jelly. Yes! Pepper and George are drawing a jelly card <laughs> for Mummy Pig. Very good. What should we write inside? Um, dear Mummy, all this jelly is for you. Love from Peppa and George. Kiss, kiss. Um, please can you share your jelly with Peppa and George? <coughs> and can Daddy have some too? Lovely. The timer has gone ping and the jelly is ready. We just turn the mould over on the plate and out pops the... Jelly! It's wibbly and it's wobbly. Blah, blah, blah. The end. Mummy Pig has finished her important work. <gasps> Mummy's coming! Surprise! Surprise! Oh, how wonderful! We made jelly! Ooh, my favourite. And it's all for you. And some for me and George and Daddy. Wibbly wobbly jelly. Thank you. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig, Pepper and George like jelly. Everyone likes jelly. <laughs> Mountain climbing. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes, once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue! They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad! Not again! Sorry! Rescue by a helicopter! Brilliant! Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bobbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow! Who wants a go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Pepper is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes. Which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! <laughs> oh, dear. 
George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George. Mummy's coming. Stop! You can't climb without a rope. It's against the rules. No time for rules. I have to rescue George. <laughs> Mummy's here. Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Hooray! Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello. What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, Dad! You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right there. <laughs> Hang on, Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun, I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Her and George are visiting Mrs. Badger's farm. Peppa, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur! <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels, and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. <laughs> it is a traffic jam. Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs. Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs. Badger. <laughs> We were just talking about tractors. Peppa and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. <laughs> we'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. No. Before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels. And a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! It's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. Uh -huh. No, 
traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. Oh, I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Pepper loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. Detective Club. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. Let's play detectives. This is our detective club, and we will solve mysteries. Ooh. We have to find a mystery. Yes, we can use the telephone. Hello? We are important detectives and we need a mystery. They said go outside. But that's a wooden telephone. It doesn't work. We're playing a game, Susie. Ah, OK. <laughs> Daddy, we are a detective club. That sounds lovely. We solve mysteries. Fantastic. Uh, only problem is it's actually time for us to go home. Oh. Play some more. You can come back to the clubhouse tomorrow. OK, Daddy. Bye, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Oh, the car's locked. Daddy Pig cannot open the car door. Uh, and I don't seem to have the key. Until I've found my key, we can't go home. Hooray! We can play more. <laughs> come back to the detective club, Peppa. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if your detective club can help me find my key. Yes, that's a real mystery. OK, we'll help you, Daddy. Thank you. The key must be somewhere around here. If we all crawl around looking on our hands and knees, we might find it. No, we are detectives. We do not crawl around on our hands and knees. I see. We have clever ways to do things. Maybe there's a way to open the car without a key. Um, we could ring the police. Yes, they can open locked cars. Phone the police. This is the police station. Slow day today. If only we had something to do. <sighs> Phone the police? That's brilliant. Uh, only problem is... Where have I put my phone? It's in the car! Daddy Pig's phone is locked inside the car. That's not good. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit, can I use your phone? Sorry, old chap, I left my phone at home. But looks like there's a phone in the clubhouse. Fantastic! Uh, how do I use this thing? It's a toy phone. It's made of wood. Let me have a go. I do have quite a loud voice. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. Help! Someone's calling for help. We've got ourselves a job. To the police car. Did someone shout for help? Yes, we've got an emergency. What kind of emergency? Flood? Earthquake? Tornado? Um, I'm locked out of my car. Daddy can't drive us home. <laughs> Good thing you called us. That was our idea. Good work, children. We'll take it from here. Daddy Pig, where is your car key? I've lost it. Key is lost. This might sound very silly, but have you looked in all the obvious places, like your pockets? My key! Daddy Pig's key was in his pocket. That's funny. 
I didn't even know I had pockets. Mystery solved. All thanks to the quick thinking of these young children. We are detectives and this is our clubhouse. Very smart. I wish we had a clubhouse. We do. It's called the police station. Yes, but the police station doesn't have a slide or a swing. Yes, our clubhouse is the best in the whole world. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Police car. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Today, as a special treat, some of you are going to spend a day with the police. As a prisoner? <laughs> no, Freddy. As a guest. They will join us as we drive around in our police car helping people. Who would like to go? Me! Me! OK, Peppa and Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the police car. Have fun! I will call you when it is the children's lunchtime. Right you are, Madam Gazelle. See you later. Don't be late. We are having sandwiches and jelly. Sandwiches and jelly, eh? Mmm, delicious. The police like sandwiches and jelly. Bye, everyone. Bye. Nino, Nino, Nino. <laughs> Can we use the siren, please? I'm afraid not, Freddy. The siren is to be used only for emergencies. <coughs> What's going on here? Oh, dear. There is a traffic jam. We need to get past all these cars to see what the problem is. Can we use the siren now? Yes. This is just the sort of emergency the siren is for. <coughs> Hooray! <coughs> it is Mr Stallion. His car has broken down. <coughs> the police. Thank goodness you're here. What seems to be the trouble? My car is broken. Don't worry, Mr Stallion. We'll sort this out. Thank you. No need to thank us. We're just doing our job. Car parked in middle of road and obstructing traffic. Now we simply move the car out of the way. Ugh. There. And the traffic can move again. Hooray! Emergency over. Bye-bye, Mr Stallion. Bye-bye. Bye. So you see, children, our day is full of emergencies like that. We never know what will come next. Calling all police. Calling all police. Who's that? It's the police station. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Emergency. Cat stuck up a tree. Another emergency. Can we use the siren again? Of course, Freddy. We've got a cat to rescue. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? It's Mr Cat. Meow. Mr Cat is stuck in the tree. What are you doing up there? I climbed up. Why? It seemed like a good idea at the time. <sighs> and now you're stuck? Yes. It's a good thing we're around to help, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> I'll get the ladder. Don't worry, Mr Cat. We'll get you down. Emergency over. Hooray! Sorry. The tree looked like it would be good fun to climb. Yes, it's not a good idea to have a tree here. Dangerous tree in wrong place. So, children, have you enjoyed your day with the police? It's been brilliant! I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. Calling the police. Another emergency? How exciting! <laughs> Police Officer Panda, receiving you loud and clear. Over. This is Madame Gazelle. Pepper and Freddy are late for their lunch. Remember, it is sandwiches and jelly. Over. Late for sandwiches and jelly? Now that's what I call a real emergency. So, can we use the... Use the siren? Of course. It's what the siren was built for. Hooray! 
Pepper and Freddy love the police car. Everyone loves the police car. The Big Hill. Today, Pepper and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Peppa. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Peppa and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. Oh, I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <laughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. <gasps> Nearly there, George! <laughs> It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there. It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK. We've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? <sighs> Don't! No, Peppa! I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing! Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world! Look, there's the playground! <laughs> I can see the supermarket! And there is Susie! <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top! It is amazing! <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down! Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up! Come on, George! <laughs> Let's roll a bit! Whee! Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun! Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Rolling down was really fun! Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. Hollywood. Peppa and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. Are we nearly there yet? I don't know. Let's stop and look at the map. Hmm. So, what have we got here? It's another Miss Rabbit. Is everything all right, Miss Rabbit? 
Sir, did you know that you may only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency? But it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in Super Potato's new movie, Vegetables in Space. So we need to get to Hollywood. Oh, well, in that case, just hang a right and then you head straight on until you see the stars. But it's daytime. The stars aren't in the sky, they're on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Bye. We've got to look for the stars. <laughs> star! George has seen a star. And another star. There are lots of stars all over the ground. There's Super Potato! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! And I am Hash Brown. Ooh. And I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> We won a ticket to be in your movie. Vegetables in space. Then let's get to the studio. We've got a movie to make. <laughs> Here is the movie studio. This is where we make the movie. Wow, it's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> Mummy Broccoli? So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh! No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights. <laughs> Camera. Action! Attention! The galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots! Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day too. Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, okay. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe! If only there was some way of getting rid of them! We can't eat the carrots! But there are too many! Hello? Hello there? What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbit! We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch-based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. Save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. We did it! The universe is saved! Hooray! Thanks to Peppa Pig. And all the Miss Rabbits. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Oh, already? Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you had a good time in America, Peppa? Yes, it's been amazing. What was the best bit? The it was everything! Peppa has had a wonderful time in America. How sure! Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play shop! Yay! Shop, 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 shop! The clubhouse has a counter, like a little shop. What are we going to sell? We've got toy plastic fruit and cheese in the fridge. The little shop is open. Ho, ho, ho. What can we buy? Plastic fruit and plastic cheese. Can I have some plastic cheese, please? Yes, Mummy. And maybe a plastic apple to go with it. Thank you. That will be a lot of money, please. Oh, dear. I didn't bring any money with me today. That's OK. You can use these buttons. Lovely. Here are 
two buttons. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. What else do you sell? Um, we've got my toy, Owly. Twit to woo. Okay, I'll buy Owly. Here is a button. Thank you. Now Owly is yours. Ooh, it's lovely and cuddly. Can I have Owly back now? What? But I've just bought it for a button. It's just a pretend shop, Mummy. Oh, of course. Owly. Susie Sheep loves her toy owl. Next. Oh, I'm feeling thirsty. Do you have any fruit juice? Um, no. Sorry, Daddy. But we can order some in. The clubhouse has a toy wooden telephone. Hello. We need fruit juice. Thank you. Goodbye. They said we'll have their fruit juice tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Next. Have you got any cakes? Yes, Mummy. We've got a cake in the toy oven. The toy oven is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. What kind of cake do you want it to be? Um, can it be a carrot cake? OK, it's a carrot cake. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. <sighs> it's a plastic toy cake, Mummy. It's not real. Of course. And how much does it cost? One button, please. Have a nice day. Next. What else are you selling in your shop today? Um, we've got magic clothes. Ooh, are they invisible clothes? Yes, they are made with the finest cloth. Fantastic. I'll look like an emperor. They cost five buttons. Very expensive. But I suppose that's what you have to pay for invisible clothes. You can try them on if you like, Mr Pig. Leave your old clothes here. Thank you, but I think I'll try them on at home. Have a nice day. That was quite a queue. Now it's finally my turn. I'd like to buy a... Sorry, Daddy, we're closing. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> it is time for the children to take a break. It is hard work running a shop. Here is Mr. Labrador in his ice cream van. <laughs> Hello, children. What can I get you? Ice cream, please. Ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> Here is the money. Hang on. These are just buttons. The buttons are pretend money. Of course. Pretend money. How charming. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I haven't got any real money either. No problem, Mr Pig. We take cards. So, that's all the children's ice creams. And one for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best clubhouse in the whole wide world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Playing golf. Pepper and George are playing golf with Grandpa Pig. To play golf is quite simple. You take a golf ball and hit it with a golf club into the hole. Like this. You missed the hole, Grandpa. That's all right. I can hit it again. Missed again, Grandpa. It doesn't matter. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. There. Hooray! <laughs> Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Showing the little ones how to play golf, eh? Yes, that's right. Well, I hope your grandpa is teaching you properly. The secret is to give the golf club a jolly good swing. Wow! The ball went in the hole in one go. Yes, it's called a hole in one. Well done. Grandpa, have you ever done a hole in one? No, I never have. Well, keep trying, old chap. Who knows? You might do it one day. 
Toodle pip. Bye. Can I have a go now? Of course, Peppa. Do you remember what to do? Yes. You get a ball. A golf ball. And a stick. A golf club. And you hit it. Oh, it didn't go very far. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> Remember, you can have as many goes as you like. Ready, steady, go. My turn. Ugh, this is impossible. Don't worry, Peppa. We've got all day. <sighs> I'm a bit... George, Grandpa. Ooh, what's that? It looks like a fairy castle. There's a windmill and a dinosaur. It's just kiddie golf, Peppa. It's for little children. But, Grandpa, we are little children. Oh, yes, so you are. All right, you and George can play. <laughs> this is the kiddie golf course. How do we play? Well, I suppose it is quite fun. The ball has to go through that windmill, over the back of the dinosaur, onto a fairy castle, and into the hole. Me first. <laughs> you go, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> What's this? Grandpa, are you playing kiddie golf? Uh, yes. Pepper and George are little, you see. Lucky you. I wish we could play kiddie golf. You can play with us. Oh, thank you, Pepper. Hmm, let me see now. Oh, bad luck, old bean. I say, this is rather fun. Oh. It must be your turn now, eh, Grandpa Pig? Oh, this is not really my kind of game. Don't worry, Grandpa. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. I suppose so. We've got all day. <laughs> OK. <laughs> You got a hole in one. Yes, I did. For the first time in my life, a hole in one. Hooray! Well done, old chap. My grandpa is the best. Grandpa Pig loves playing golf. Everybody loves playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>